You have a responsibility to manage yourself. The distance or bridge between your dreams and goals and ultimate success is discipline. In order to be a success at anything in life, it takes hard work. It takes discipline. It takes pushing yourself. It takes putting in more work and action taking than your average individual. Discipline, discipline hurts, doesn't it? We don't want to do it for a little while. But regret is long term. You have to grind for your future. You have to persist and push for your future. You want to be proud of that. You got to look internally first. No one is stopping. You're the only one, right? Who's stopping you? If you can, if you can pause a little bit and uh, avoid listening to all the noise that's going on around you, and, and focus and hone in uh, on the things that are important. Comfort is for losers. There's no such thing whatsoever in the world of being the best that has comfort anywhere in it. We got to make a decision. We got to pick a route that's going to maximize our time, maximize our now, maximize our future. That's the opportunity. That's the moment. That's the opportunity to be great. That's the moment that can transform your life. You honor the fact that it is hard. And you don't complain about it, and you don't avoid it. You just know that that difficulty and that challenge and that frustration, it's part of the process. It is inevitable, it is unavoidable. You have to be able to really see it clearly, crystal clear what it is that you want to achieve. And then the second part is a timeline. You have to, you have to establish a timeline for it, when you're going to do it by to create that sense of urgency for yourself. So saying, you know, okay, I know what my goal is and it's clearly defined, but if you don't put that timeline, then you can put it off for tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. And that's what we all have a tendency to do. It's tomorrow or it's going to be next Monday. Monday's like the magical day that we all start everything and New Year's is the magical day of the year that we start everything. So the key is, what can you do today? That's what's helped me, is learning not only what can I do today, one thing that's going to take me closer to my goal, but what's something that I can do immediately? Every single thing that you've ever wanted to achieve and the greatest version of yourself is right out there, right out there waiting for you on the outside of your comfort zone. I mean, at the end of the day, Somebody has to be the best. Why shouldn't it be you? You deserve great things. You deserve to be a champion. You don't deserve just to be a champion. When you guys find a fear, that fear will either create you or destroy you. I love fear. Because why? Behind every fear is the person you want to be. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. It's an intangible. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. And once you face it, you go, oh my God, man, I spent all this time running from it. It was so small. If I just faced it, my God, not only did I face it, I beat it back. Energy's never lost, transferred. That negative energy, that fear, is destroyed. It comes back in its confidence. Like, what else am I, what else am I capable of? Where else am I holding my back from? I can't move more. Where am I running from? I don't need to. Where else can I overcome? You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive. Again, it's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetic. It's the perseverance. The never say die attitude. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, Eventually something will stick, guys. Never give in to what you want.